Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Heva Abdul Ghaffar. The deputy of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met at Qudaybiyah Palace today with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. They praised the efforts of His Majesty the King, Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to boost relations between Bahrain and brotherly and friendly countries at the GCC, Arab and international levels. The deputy king and His Royal Highness the Premier loaded the development programs adopted by the government and their effectiveness in dealing with the requirements of the current phase according to a more dynamic economic approach aimed at boosting financial stability and backing the economic development efforts. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired at Qurabiya Palace today the weekly cabinet meeting. On the occasion of the International Day of Democracy, the cabinet hailed what has been achieved in the democratic process of the kingdom in the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The cabinet noted the cooperation between the kingdom's constitutional institutions and highlighted the rights and freedoms granted by the constitution. The cabinet also affirmed the government's keenness to protect human rights and practices. Upon an invitation of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak, briefed the Cabinet on the results of his recent visit to Kuwait, in which he delivered a cable from His Majesty the King to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Subah al-Jabir al-Ahmad al-Subah. In this regard, the Cabinet commended the strong brotherly relations between Bahrain and Kuwait and noted their development in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister extended his sincere Sincere congratulations to the King, government, and people of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia on the occasion of its 88th National Day, wishing the Kingdom further progress under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and his crown prince. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also loaded the Saudis' advanced status in the economic, strategic, and political fields due to the policies of the custodian of the two holy mosques. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also praised the efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques, which resulted in signing the Jeddah Peace Pact between Ethiopia and Eritrea, which reflects Saudi's role in maintaining regional and international peace and security. His Royal Highness directed the Minister of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning to maintain clean streets during Ashura season, hailing the cooperation of the General Authority of Hosseini Prosecution in this regard. The Cabinet approved a Memorandum of Understanding on the Operation and Financial Contribution in the Regional Center for the Middle East and North Africa of the United Nations Commission on International Trade Law between the Government of Bahrain, represented by the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, and the Bahrain Chamber of Dispute Resolution, and the United Nations represented by UN Office for Legal Affairs. The Minister of Justice and Islamic Affairs was assigned to sign the MOU on on behalf of Bahrain. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution to be issued by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication to regulate the registration and use of domain names and extensions, which are registered under the domain name of the Kingdom of Bahrain, known internationally as .bh. The draft resolution grants the Telecommunication Regulatory Authority the power to register the domain of the Kingdom of Bahrain through accredited registrars. The Cabinet approved another draft resolution to be issued by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, amending the provisions of the regulations of licenses for public transport activities, which was issued by Decree 11 of 2015. The amendment adds a new license for public transport activities, which is renting luxury cars with drivers, according to the fees set forth in the draft resolution. The Cabinet followed up on the implementation of an integrated strategy in waste management that was approved by the Cabinet last February and reviewed eight projects in this regard. Among these projects is the recycling of demolition and construction waste by crushing and separating them, and another project to recycle agriculture agricultural waste and convert it into fertilizers. The third project is the recycling of household and commercial according to their classification and the fourth is energy recycling where a specialized study is being conducted to propose the best ways to convert waste into energy. The fifth project is the recycling of tires and the sixth is managing operating landfills. The seventh project is developing a waste management strategy and the eighth is the establishment of an operation of a waste control management center. The cabinet welcomed the decision of the Arab League to support the kingdom's measures in combating terrorism and terrorist organizations to preserve its security and stability. The cabinet was briefed on the outcomes of the sixth session of the Bahraini Omani Joint Committee, which was held in Oman recently. The cabinet took note to the results of the visit of the Minister of Health following the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to attend the inauguration ceremony of the Bahrain Information Center for His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa at Prince of Songkhla University in Thailand. The cabinet was briefed by the Minister of Health on the results of the ministerial meeting regarding full health care which was held in Oman recently. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qurabiya Palace the Assistant Vice Chancellor of the Sultan Qaboos University for International Cooperation, Her Highness Dr. Muna bint Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Saeed, in the presence of the Honorary President of the Goodworth Society, Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, upon her visit to Bahrain and honoring her as one of the winners of the 8th Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa Award for Voluntary Work in appreciation of her efforts in the field of charitable and humanitarian work. His Royal Highness welcomed Her Highness Dr. Muna and expressed his wishes of development and progress to Oman and its people. He praised the development of Oman in various fields under the leadership of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed, the Sultan of Oman, hailing His Majesty's efforts in the development of Oman. 
The Prime Minister praised the Almani people's keenness to develop their country, affirming the depth of historic brotherly relations between the two peoples. His Royal Highness expressed pleasure in honoring Her Highness as one of the distinguished Arab personalities that contributed in the service of their communities and the successes achieved in the field of voluntary and social work. He noted the importance of voluntary work and its impact in strengthening solidarity in societies. For her part, Her Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his kind gesture that reflects the depth of fraternal relations between the two countries and his interest in developing relations. She noted the support of His Royal Highness for charitable and voluntary work, hailing the development of Bahrain. She added that his visit is an opportunity to review Bahrain's development in various fields, highlighting the Bahraini Omani ties. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qurabiya Palace the President of the Bahrain Basketball Association, Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, where he represented to His Royal Highness the Secretary General of the International Basketball Federation, Patrick Bowman. His Royal Highness affirmed that sports has an outstanding contribution in strengthening communication among people and developing human resources. He hailed Bahrain's continuous success in hosting regional and international national championships and win advanced places in various sports activities. The Prime Minister welcomed the Secretary General to Bahrain and hailed the level of cooperation between the International Federation and the Bahraini Federation. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain's hosting of the second qualifying round for the Asian Cup finals in basketball reflects the kingdom's capabilities to host the world's largest tournaments in various games. He expressed Bahrain's pride in hosting the qualifiers, wishing every Everyone success. The Prime Minister hailed the efforts of Sheikh Isa bin Ali to develop the game at the clubs and teams levels, which resulted in many successes for Bahraini basketball in various regional and international competitions. His Royal Highness noted that the visit of the Secretary General reflects the cooperation between Bahrain and Switzerland, affirming Bahrain's keenness to strengthen its relations with many countries to achieve common aspirations. For his part, Sheikh Isa bin Ali expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support of the Bahraini Basketball Federation and all sports federations, which reflects His Royal Highness's belief in the importance of sports. He stressed that the directives of His Royal Highness and his continuous support to athletes encourages them to exert more effort to promote Bahrain in various sports forums. For his part, the International Basketball Federation Secretary General praised His Royal Highness's belief in the importance of sports, expressing thanks and appreciation for the support basketball receives from His Royal Highness. He also expressed pride in meeting with His Royal Highness. He affirmed that Bahrain's hosting of the qualifiers affirms that the kingdom's ability to organize and prepare for such championships and hailed the efforts of Sheikh Isa bin Ali in developing Bahraini basketball. 
The president of the Bahrain Basketball Association, Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, held a meeting today with the Secretary General of the International Basketball Federation, Patrick Bowman, who is on a visit to the kingdom. Sheikh Isa welcomed the Secretary General and noted the role of the FIBA in developing basketball and promoting it in the world public games. He also reviewed the fields of cooperation that support the efforts of the BBA in developing the sport. Sheikh Isa reviewed the plans and programs of the BBA to enhance regional and international presence in competitions. The Secretary General expressed admiration with the programs and its results in regard to developing the sport in Bahrain, affirming the Federation's support of those efforts. The Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, today issued three edicts. The first edict was issued regarding the establishment of the High Committee to oversee the integrity of the elections of the members of the Council of Representatives and named the members of this panel. Another appointed the President of the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission and the third edict specified the election supervisory centers.